Hey there, fellas. Now, some cars come with electric windshield heaters, and that is an awesome feature, I have to say. But this car... isn't one of them. And sometimes I think it could certainly use it. Let's try setting up an antifreeze-based heated windshield, using whatever coolant we can find. We'll start by finding another windshield, and then make a single windshield out of the two. One that can be heated. Let's do this. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellas, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. Using coolant to heat a windshield. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Look at that, this turned out pretty well. We've glued the two windshields together, and as for the tubes, well, that part the boys could have done better. They really should have put the second one up here. Eh, whatever. So the fluid is going all the way up to the shade band, which is good. It's not that thick of a layer. I think there's only 10 mil between the panes. But there's really no point in separating them any further. Anyway, you can see we've poured in some green coolant, which is actually yellowish when it's in the canister, but here it became green for whatever reason. Yeah, no worries. Now we take the car outside, leave it until tomorrow, let it chill, which is something we'll help with, to make sure the glass is covered in a thick layer of snow and ice. And once it gets there, we'll start the car and see how well the liquid windshield heater does the job. So look here, it's morning time. We did put a bit of extra snow onto the car earlier, just in case. But looking at this car that also spent the night, we could have just left it. Okay then, let's fire up the engine and see how fast and how effective the heated windshield is at getting the job done. Let's get to it. Oh look, it even started. It wasn't very eager to, but it is running.
Wow, this really is a neat device we got here. The engine gets this warm in no time, and after literally two minutes go by, there is no ice left. See how it all melted off? The windshield has gotten to a temperature. Well, check this out. See how fast the snow melts? Like as soon as it touches the glass, it melts immediately. It feels like about maybe 50 Celsius, maybe even more. The snow at the bottom is melting really rapidly. I can literally see a river flowing. Look at how it's melting. It's doing so quite actively. Very nice. I was right on the money, fellows. 51 degrees. Now, I do not see the need to ramp up the temperature. This seems more than adequate. I mean, just look at how fast all of this is melting. Like, right away. Though I am noticing a drop in level. Hey, no worries. This is what you'd call a prototype, so... Yeah, it is a very effective thing. It gets up to temperature real quick. I mean, why don't car makers fill the space between two panes with, like, ethanol? And fit a heat exchanger to set up a system like this one? Wouldn't that just be great? Hey, well, you guys be the judges. We did our part by giving you some food for thought. Maybe somebody will even patent this or something. Why don't we do it, Sergey? Write it down. Bless you. Look at him. Anyway, this works beautifully, 107%. We're putting it out there, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.